Hello viewers, this is the second of the two Radio Shack 900MHz analog cordless telephones. Hopefully this video goes a little better. The previous video was, was awful. I think there was four outtakes. I don't know why I was having such a hard time getting through that video. Anyways, I thought this one was completely identical to the other one because it shared the same category number. It's number uh, 431107, but it says D, as in dog, and it's made in the China. Whereas the other one, it said A, as in this will be A, better video, and it's made in the Philippines. So it's a completely different phone. Um, even though it's the same model, it's not the same phone. I'm not sure if these are sold at the same time. I tend to believe this one made in the Philippines is older, but I don't know. So I'm going to keep with the videos as part one and part two, or phone one and phone two, because I don't want to redo that other video of, of this phone. This phone is just really hard to record for whatever reason. So even though they're not exactly the same, we're going to call them, you know, one of two and two of two. This one doesn't have the auto talk while it's off. So if I was to use either one of these phones, this would be the one that I use because I find that auto talk while it's off to be very annoying. Because there's a lot of times where I, I grab the phone and I, I don't make a call. I take it outside or I bring it in the other room and I'm not making a call. I'm waiting for a call or I'm going to use it later. So, anyways, I, I have to wonder if that's a setting. I don't think it is. I don't believe that these really had a lot of settings to speak of. But, um, I'll have to look in the manual. Maybe it's a setting. Anyways, um, let's begin here. I'll go ahead and call this thing up. And let's see if any freak shows ensue during this video. Okay, the ring sounds the same. It sounds a little bit different than the unit and branded ones. All right, we'll let that go one more time. The charge light is flashing. Auto talked. Now it's on. I don't hear anything. Um, I think this phone does not work. Okay, well, let's make an outside call. We have some better audio besides me banging my hands on the table. Okay, now we have audio. Seems kind of quiet though. Yeah, that's well below what it should be. Can hardly even hear it myself. I don't think we're going to get this on the amplifier. Yeah, it won't even pick it up because it's so quiet. Now it's gone again. That's full volume. And we're going to go down to low. It's inaudible. So we're going to have to replace the uh, receiver cap in this most likely. Can't hear it again. Is it quitting out after a certain period of time? Let's see. It's so quiet. Call the time, temperature, and weather lukewarm line. I'm just going to listen to it myself. I mean, it's there, but it's borderline inaudible. Okay, so we're going to have to do some repairs on this one. Let's see if the transmit works okay. I'll go ahead and call the testing answering machine and record a message. One new message and 18 old messages. Message one. The audio is very, very weak on the incoming end of this telephone. Most likely 
the receiver cap will need to be replaced. Okay, I'm going to roam across the room here to make sure that the transmit is working and there's enough range on this telephone. I am now as far as I can go over by the water equipment. Over and out. End of messages. It did seem to transmit just fine. Now I've just noticed this now. I've been saying in the last couple of videos that these telephones made in China were very good quality and I still believe that this is a very good quality phone. I don't think that this failure is widespread. However, it is worth noting that this other one that's made in the Philippines still works just fine. Whereas this one made in China is uh, starting to fail. But you have to understand that this phone is probably at least 20, 20 years old. You know, somewhere in the range of 20 to 23 years approximately in that in that time frame. So, for something that's only now having a problem after this many years, it's relatively well made. Alright, let's check out all these buttons here. I suspect that they're all going to work just fine, as is normally the case uh, with these phones. I'll zoom this in here and we'll make a call so we can test the numbers. Okay, the phone line's not plugged in. Yeah, this video is uh, going the way the other one was. Okay, there we go, that's better. Okay, that all worked. Now we'll do a flash. Okay, that worked as well. Why can we not change the channel? There we go. It's very slow. That button's a little sticky. Alright, so this one's going to take some work to get back to operation again. I'm going to have to replace the receiver capsule, which I probably have one on hand somewhere. Whoops. There we go again. And um, it's kind of dirty up in there. We'll clean that up. But uh, this will make a good phone once it's cleaned up and ready to go. Um, compared to this one, you can see this one has a lot more use on it. So perhaps my... Uh, uh, location of manufacturer comparison is not super fair. I'm not going to hold that against it. Um, easy to fix and I'm sure it provided many many years of service before that issue arose. So that will conclude this video. Less disastrous than the first one but still not the greatest production ever. Thank you for watching.